I am so excited. You, <laughs> honest to goodness. Um, we ordered a Cub Mini wood stove from Cubic Mini Wood Stoves. So excited about it. Ordered it back in the fall and the company is expanding and it's 2020 and it's just before the holidays. And I contacted them and said, is there any way we can get this? This is our last shot heading up north to get this installed for the winter so that when we go up and we're snowshoeing and all that fun stuff, we'll have something warm and toasty in our nice little micro. And they messaged me back and said that they were going to do the best that they can. And they did. They shipped it out. I get a message from DHL saying it's it's ready to go. It's managed to make it to Cincinnati and your delivery time is going to be just in time. We're so excited. And then the snow hit and there was a delay and then there was a hold on one of the pieces and Mike and I were just resolved ourselves to we're going up north we're going to enjoy ourselves we always do but we won't be going up with the wood stove I'm out today out and about running some errands and ba -ding, I get this message We are so excited that this made it. Thank you. No worries. We're gonna take the front door here. Side door is fine. Thank you. All right. Oh my goodness. Look at him. Look at this thing. What is this? Mm. <laughs> so cute. Hey. Hey, I see. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Mike's already looking and seeing that we may have to figure something out up here because there's a, there's a rafter up there. Hmm. But it's only one. Okay. I I am beyond excited. Yeah. Yep. Unveiling of the, what is this? Oh, the wall mount? Yeah. This is the wall mount. Okay. Unpackage everything. This is the bracket that I believe it hangs from on the wall. Even the pipes are covered. Yeah, they do a really really good job protecting this <laughs> which I appreciate Things take time. We uh, we ended up having to take the entire panel out. 
uh, which was a little tricky because of this molding piece and the light and the fact that the molding goes the whole length and we couldn't get to that screw and yeah, it's a little tricky, but we did it. What do we have to do? I gotta take this out. And I gotta, to support this, I gotta put a board across from here to here. Probably double it up. From here to here and whatever is screwed into this then it's just gonna be i'll put some more in here where the stove pipe i gotta keep a section open to for yeah it's gonna be air but i gotta have support for this roof because i can't have 24 inches So how easy has this been? Ah, uh, this is not been easy. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so, well, directions. there's just so many things to think about. Because yep. the way it's got to be, we only have a heat shield for so long. And then now we got to figure out, I might have to still take this back off again. Because now we're figuring that, ah, uh, this might be still out too far. Right. goes just a little bit behind it yes I, I don't know and they can't because there's a screw oh, right yeah, here yeah. so I, this has got to be I guess just like like that so it's gonna come out it's gonna come out like this basically well this is the same distance as so I would say no it's gonna be it's, or does it come it no it's come gonna down. be it's gonna be flat against this it's gonna be the same width as this because this is the distance that yeah. this is thick and it has the Oh, okay. You so know what it's I mean? going to come out like that. Yeah. Just like that. So that it's open behind here. Yeah. Okay. 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 I don't so know why that guy in the video had that uh, leftover, remember? Yeah. Maybe because he had the extension okay. kit. Okay. Right, here we go. Light it up. Going to light it up for the first time. They recommend lighting it outside for a little bit because the, there's going to be some fumes and stuff the, emitting the residue from, from the yeah. manufacturer. There's a little birch bark. Should light right up. Alright. First time, little cub. goes good. It does. Don't get your other wood in there. I don't get my other wood in there. Look at it. Okay. Testing it outside, burning off all of the residue from the manufacturer, and tomorrow we install. It's so tiny.
It's not easy. There's no good way to attack this here. You're not gonna get it flush. Oh. It's gonna be at an angle. I, could, I guess I could angle it this way. Yeah. And then and come then over and angle it that off. way. Yeah. So we've got three and a half inches from yeah. here to the pen point. This will go around that screw that's up there. And then we'll be able to. Yep. Hopefully. All we'll right. Double check before we cut. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anticlimactic. I'm sorry. So now I need that jigsaw and it to be plugged in. Okay. Hold on. my angle grinder and I'm gonna got a, a, cut, a metal cutting blade I'm gonna cut this I have to have 16 inches um, to be where I need to be otherwise it would be way too high and doesn't need to be that high out the up on cutting the pipe we got excited didn't realize there was a receiver on the other end <laughs> we got excited it's should have okay. flipped it around and cut it that way but hey yeah. it was a 50 50 chance so i lost this time it's okay and getting another pipe from montreal with a hole in the ceiling on december 20th yeah no we're gonna make this work yeah, it'll be fine it'll be fine we got this. We're crimping it the old-fashioned way. That's right. A pair of needle nose pliers. Crimp. So I'm thinking this would be up on the roof, this part. Okay. And then this is going to go over top like that. And then I would use the self-tapping screws in there like that. Yeah. Yes.
Oh yeah. It's getting there. video you so or record okay. you so we're gonna pretend we see what's happening up there boots on everything's caulked yep. screwing down the boot that's it do you want the topper uh when i'm done here okay i'll go grab it Getting ready to light the little cup mini. Are you serious? Yes, I am. Oh my goodness. How long have you waited for this? Oh, uh, forever. I will have lots of practice. Oh there my gosh, go. look at that. This is open. This is open. Your very first fire started. <laughs> For. Look at how quickly it, it like just takes off. Yeah. Way different than when it was outside. Mm -hmm. yeah. First fire. Mice gonna split up some dry wood, some little kindling to keep it going. And look, even our little drying rack works out perfectly. Installed and enjoying. And today's project is figuring this out. So we had fun with this all last night, letting it burn the ambiance the dry heat, the smell of a wood fire, and woke up to having to deal with finishing it. laying around outside rough cut the edges to frame this out mm.